So in this video I will show you two examples of how to correct distortion in JPEG image data. Um, <clears throat> both, both Im images initially show a large gray block or a solid color block and um, this is caused by invalid JPEG markers <coughs> and we'll first remove those and then we'll see additional corruption hardly ever those corrupt bytes, those invalid markers come alone <coughs> Sorry. and then um, so we'll have to clean that up too and there's always some, some uh, rest damage and I'll do a separate video on how to correct that using a free tool called paint on it. Well basically we select uh, patch mode and then uh, open the file browser and click repair and then depending on what uh, the tool finds it will prompt you to do something in this case it will prompt us to load the file so we'll just do that. We open the file browser again. And open the file it indicated. Click repair again. Uh, it's now uh, decoding the file. It is trying to find errors. And uh, it also allows the tool to uh, map specific MCUs, which are little blocks of pixels, to data inside the file. Data is encoded and compressed so it's not by definition that a pixel halfway across the file uh, in, the, in the picture is actually stored halfway inside the file. So errors were detected. We can use the magnifier and, and uh, look closer at the damage. The error was detected and uh, JPEG uh, repair uh, saved that uh, byte address where it detected the error. So we have a location from which we can start removing corrupt data. So I moved the pointer along this line of corrupt data. There's a lot of corrupt data in here and it all has to go. So I um, increase the value uh, for the up and down button. So rather than jumping 16 bytes at a time, it jumps 80 or whatever you set. And basically, we now have just we, we will keep trying until the image looks better. So we'll keep removing corrupt data. just have to see what happens and the more we remove you will see the image change but also you will see the line of corrupt data slowly getting shorter And uh, what we also see is when we remove data is that the bottom part of the image is shifting to the left. So that will be the next thing that we will have to address. We, we will have to shift it back to the right. Now it starts to look right. So you can, of course, see where, once the image would be aligned, uh, where uh, um, the bottom part would attach to the part on top. So what I do sometimes is with the mouse cursor, 
uh, hover above a spot and then look at the uh, RGB colors and then go to the top part of the image which would be directly above this spot I first sampled so I can compare colors so we can see if we have once we start aligning if those colors will approximately match it's difficult to get a 100% match but not impossible but it takes more time than I have for this video because right now we're uh, taking big jumps 16 bytes at a time and you can of course experiment with smaller jumps fine-tune it so to speak and what you can also do is uh, we, we're now removing bytes from this byte address that the tool gave us we can also jump back a couple of MCUs which are little blocks of pixels uh, a JPEG is organized in MCUs which are blocks of pixels often 8 by 8 pixels or 8 by 16 pixels so we can jump a couple of blocks uh, back in the image and see if that makes a difference so I have now already started uh, realigning so you tick the little checkbox and the green value is mirrored from the red value you click apply then that number of bytes that we removed is added again uh, this is hardly ever enough so you will have to add a little more until the uh, image is properly aligned again and you will see the color change and it gets darker again once you get uh, the image aligned the color will often be correct again and this is because the start of this gray line we see appear in the image uh, connects with the you see it starting uh, starting at the, at the road at the concrete road and then this gray line ends in the concrete road as well so then as soon as the, these two are connected so to speak uh, colors will look right again look about right again and then this uh, sometimes you cannot get rid of a uh, difference in color between the upper and the lower part but this is often very minimal and very easy to fix using a photo editor so I have saved the file and there we have it So this was an example where uh, uh, JPEG Repair was able to, de to detect errors, but it's not by definition that uh, an image that looks weird has structural errors. So unless there is a structural error or uh, an error in compressed data that causes it to overflow certain values, then it can detect those errors but it's also possible that none of these errors occur and the image still looks weird so this is another one the, uh, the, the bottom part of the, the image is not grey but it's uh, well what is it yellowish so again JPEG repair detects uh, invalid JPEG markers which which caused a, a normal decoder or photo viewer to stop decoding at that point it removes it so now we can view the lower part of the image again and it's slightly off uh, with regards to color and slightly shift now since there is no error uh, detected we will have to 
figure out the byte address uh, of the corrupt data. It's not the pixels that are corrupted, it's the data below it. It's, uh, so to speak, the hex code within the file. And it's now decoding again, so it can map uh, specific pixels to specific data inside the file. And once it has done that, we can click at any point in the image and it will know where to where the underlying data is stored within the file. So no errors detected. Now you can see here in the in the magnifier that it, the corruption starts here. There's this all of a sudden the, 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 the image is decoded from left to right and then from top to bottom and then all of a sudden there is an interruption. So that's where we will click and now I um, intentionally click too high so you can see what happens there. So you pick this position you uh, add, you increase the value for bytes to be removed. And you see now that above the original corruption, two lines of MCUs, remember those are 8 pixels in height. Now you can see it really clearly. Now we introduced corruption uh, above the original corruption. So I click uh, the arrow with the line uh, behind it, which will take us exactly one line of MCUs down. We're still one too high, so I click once more. And you immediately see that we, we now have the correct position. We removed too many bytes. And so now we went from a half an image to a complete image so and this is how you uh, determine the byte address of the uh, uh, corrupted pixels these were two simpler cases but it works like this for more complicated cases as well okay thanks for watching